Hello everyone, welcome to the first tutorial uh, that we do during Design 101. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do basic drawing in Oblique. So we're going to draw three shapes, and those three shapes are going to be a cube, a triangular prism, and a small uh, set of stairs. And the purpose of uh, the, the grid paper that I've got here is to help you to draw those three shapes and to get the right angles on the depth lines. But as this is the first time we're going to do a tutorial, I just want to help you out with a few points. The first thing is, usually every time we do a drawing, we do it in what we call landscape. So this is where the, the paper is long ways like this. If we turn it around like that, we call that portrait. We switch around like that, we call it a landscape. So that's the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know is that we, when we use a ruler, uh, you need to make sure you hold the ruler correctly. Okay, so when we put the ruler down, we usually hold it like that, with four fingers along in the middle to keep it firm, or like that with the thumb and index finger holding the ruler in place. So that's the first thing. Uh, make sure you're holding the ruler correctly. And I'll talk, talk to you more about drawing lines and how we do those lines shortly. Uh, with every single thing we do during design, we always make sure that it's got a correct title or label at the top. And we do that by drawing two lines like this. One, two. And you probably can't see the bottom line so well. And we write there... title and today we're going to be drawing oblique shapes. Then what we do is down in this bottom right corner down here you write your name. So again two lines like that and you just pop your name in there. So here's my name Okay, now you're ready to draw. And what we'll do to start with is we'll draw three oblique shapes across the top. One, two, three. To start with, what I'd like you to do is starting at the top, I want you to count down nine lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just mark it over on that side and then on the same over on this side here. Now let me show you how to draw a line using a ruler correctly. What you do is you make a mark on one of the points you're going to draw it to, and you bring the ruler up to there. Okay, so the ruler is now touching that, and then you swing the ruler around. Oh, sorry, swing it around to that. I do have a little bit of a trouble sometime. I might try on this, start on this side. I'm going to put it there, and then I'm going to swing it around to there. Okay, I do have a little bit of a trouble because I've got a contraption that you can't see, uh, which I have to kind of work around that holds the camera in place or my phone in place. Now I've got two, uh, uh, my ruler is joining those two dots. I can then make the line all the way across like that. Okay, see how I was holding the ruler? Then just count in two lines from the side and you're going to draw the front face of a cube. And um, we're going to make the cube, the length of each side of the cube, three centimeters. And the great thing, which is a bit of a hack with this drawing, is that uh, each of these lines is one centimeter apart. So if I draw a line here, okay, and it might just help everybody out by moving over and zooming in a little bit. That line there, Okay, is three centimeters, and I'm going to do it with this line over here and this line here. So that's a square at the moment, and it's a three by three square. Now, in oblique drawing, the shape, the way we represent those shapes in three dimensions, is that we uh, do lines that go back at forty-five degrees. I'm going to show you what an oblique drawing looks like. I 
in just a second. I'll show you where we're heading with this. So this is a set of uh, shapes in oblique. So you can see we've just drawn the front face of a cube there. And then we have the depth lines. And these depth lines, they go at 45 degrees. So the way we... The way we do a 45 degree line uh, using the grid paper is that we just go from corner to corner because as you know that uh, this angle here if i was to show you that angle there that's a right angle which is 90 degrees so between two lines one line which is horizontal and one which is vertical that angle is 90 degrees, so half of that angle will be 45. So if we cut from corner to corner to corner to corner through those squares, then you'll get a line at 45 degrees, and I'll show you what I mean. So my, my point goes on there, my, that's the start point, and I'm going to rule a line up to here, and I'm going to rule that line very lightly. So I'm going to put my pencil there, I'm going to bring it around, and that line is going to be very, very light like that. Then I'm going to measure and make sure that that is three centimeters or as we say in millimeters, 30 millimeters. And I'll make that mark. I'll do the same over here. I might need to just zoom out a little bit for you. Okay. So I go here, I make sure my start point, I've got that and I'm going to rule that 45 degree line. See how it goes from corner to corner to corner through those shapes? Then I'm going to measure three centimeters. Now I know for some of you it's going to be tempting, extremely tempting, to just go straight to that corner there and, and rule that there. However, we actually want this to measure accurately. So I've got three centimeters going down like that. That should be three centimeters. And then I want that to be three centimeters up that way too. Okay, so then I'm going to do off this corner here, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, and now I can just bring this line straight down like that. Okay, I might just not push hard, but just darken all these lines up. Like this. Okay, so that's given us our first cube, uh, our first shape, which is a cube, an oblique. Now, the funny thing is that this doesn't look like a cube. And it's just the way that oblique drawing looks. If I put my ruler on here, it has all the properties of a cube. It has a three centimeters. All, all the sides have three centimeters. So in every way, uh, that the, it measures like a cube, but it doesn't quite look like one. Now, for that, we have a different... So we call this type of uh, oblique drawing, we call that cavalier drawing. That's C-A-V-A. L-I-E-R, Cavalier, and I'll just put a little line under that, one line, that's Cavalier cube. Underneath that now, we're going to draw another type of cube, and we call that cabinet, and the difference between Cavalier and cabinet is that Cavalier measures correctly, but cabinet, we halve the depth lines. So all the other lines are the same, except for the depth lines. So I'm going to measure down six lines, and I'm going to rule a line that goes all the way across, like that. I'm going to draw straight underneath, I'm going to draw the same front face of the cube, three centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters. Okay, and instead of going for depth lines of uh, three centimeters, I'm going to do depth lines of 1.5 centimeters. So I'm going to just go back, then I'm going to do that line, 
measure there. It's 1.5, same thing over here. I'm going to go past where I need to, then I'm going to measure just there. Put that top line on like that. Same thing over here. And you can just bring a line straight down here. Vertical line straight down like that. I might just tidy it up by rubbing. Now don't forget as you're going along, you can pause it. Okay, you can pause this tutorial and tidy things up and get it the way you look, want it to look. Okay, so if I go back to, um, well this one we call a cabinet drawing. So it's C-A-B-I-N-E-T, cabinet. So cabinet oblique drawing uh, has the same dimensions uh, in the in two di in the first two dimensions, but it's when we do the depth lines, we use half the measurement. So this measures accurately. This has half measurements going on the depth, and see how that looks much much more like a cube. So it looks more realistic, even though it doesn't measure realistically. And I'm just going to it doesn't matter if those lines come over a little bit, but I'm just going to tidy that up now. I'll probably get you just to um, practice your shading and just shade that front face. Um, shading's a, a skill that you really need um, when you are a, uh, doing design. You use shading and, and you'll, I'll talk about that more later in this uh, module. So shade uh, the front face of all those, of those two uh, shapes. Okay, so this is <clears throat> where we're up to. We've done a cube in Cavalier. We've done a cube in Cabinet. Now we're going to do a triangular prism. Watch how we do this. I'm just going to count along four lines and make a little mark there. And then the base of my triangle, or the front face of the prism, will be four centimeters. So I'm, I'm going to, you're not going to see that all that well, but I'm going to draw four centimeters along there. Then I'm going to find the middle point, okay, of that four centimeters, which will be two centimeters. I go one, two, and I count up three centimeters. One, two, three. Okay, that's gonna be the, the top of my triangle. Okay. Just watch how I'm using my ruler. Pencil, ruler up against it, swing it round, and then up like that. Okay, so that's the front face of my triangle. Now the depth of this is going to be four centimeters as well. So, I'm going to take my ruler, move it around so it goes through again at 45 degrees or it, it cuts through those squares. Okay, there it is there. And I'm going to mark that there. Then I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to go a little bit past there. And mark it at four centimeters like that. <clears throat> so if I could just show you there, I've got two marks there. And all I have to do now is join them up and I've done a triangular prism. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. And this time I'm gonna do it in cabinet. So I'm gonna line everything up actually. So on the front faces, so four centimeters along the bottom, count up three centimeters line down so same front face everything's the same okay we've got exactly the same front face this time though the depth because it was four centimeters before will only be two centimeters okay so i'm going to go up to there get my ruler just mark two i go up to there get my ruler oh it's almost bang on two centimeters Okay, and so there's my triangular prism and cabinet. Okay, you can go ahead if you want and shade the front faces again. Practice your shading because it, it is, like I said, an important skill. <laughs> and next step is we're going to do a, um, a three a staircase. 
So <clears throat> count along three, uh, well, actually four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and we're going to do the end of a staircase. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is what we're working towards. Okay, it's going to be a staircase that goes up and you don't see the stairs over there. So each stair has what we call a rise of one centimeter and a run of one centimeter. So we go up one and the, the flat face on stairs is called a run. So we're gonna go up three steps. Now this isn't how I would normally do these kind of drawings because I'll show you in a second. I'll do. I normally do all the horizontal and all the then all the vertical together. But this is just to help you. Okay. So now I've got. If I just zoom in a little bit, I've got one step, two step, and then that, that top step there. Now I'm going to start on this side. I want around four. I want the length of this. The, the stairs to be four. So I'm gonna put it up to there. Again, divide, cutting through those squares. And then off these staircases, they're just, they're oh, off, this is the, I'll do the top one here. Okay, and then these stairs, you don't actually see them, they run in behind there, so that just, Oh, that's a terrible one. Okay. So then I'm going to come along like this for, make sure I've got it bang on. Oh, that is bang on. Wow. Oh, and same with that one. And what about this one? Oh, it's not quite long enough. So then I just have to line those up. One two and there we have a three rise staircase I'm going to do the same underneath it this time the depth lines will be half so it'll only be two centimeters so watch how I do the stairs this time I'm going to do all of the vertical lines first let's just zoom in on that a little bit and then the horizontal lines Like that. And then this time only two centimeters. Oh, that's a wonky one. If you make a mistake like that, don't worry about it. Just get back on, go back and do it again. I do have the added challenge of having to negotiate this camera above me, but and join those up and join that up like that. And there you go. You've got a cabinet cavalier staircase. That's our three shapes. I'm going to shade in the front face of each of those. So a shade in these ones here. And uh, so you've got a finished product that looks something like that, and uh, you are done and dusted. Make sure everything's labeled right. Thank you.